All right, I'm actually driving at the moment. If you couldn't tell. And, uh, well, I've probably got half an hour till the sun goes down. So, I'm trying to get to the fishing spot and catch a couple of fish before the sun goes down, less than half an hour. So I'm gonna call this the uh, the first cast challenge. And uh, see if I can, I've got two rods in the back. Uh, one has a, a curly tail worm and the other has a jerk bait. And so I'm gonna try to catch two fish and each of them on the first cast before the sun goes down. So let's see if I can do it. Yeah, so I'm not even gonna carry any extra baits. I'm just gonna take what's on the rod already. Just whatever's on there, that's what I'm gonna use. Open. All right. Let's go. Come on. But uh, I might not make this challenge. The biggest challenge of getting to that spot before the sun goes down. I'm skipping over all the spots I would usually fish and going to a spot where I think the, the fish are going to be stacked up. So that's the biggest challenge is covering that much ground. And uh, yeah, I've probably got 20 minutes maybe at the most before the sun's all the way down. It has dropped 10 to 15 degrees since I left the house. And it's going to keep dropping. It's supposed to freeze tonight. 75, 80 degrees earlier. It's supposed to freeze all in the same day. So we'll see what happens here. It's dropping so quick. I don't think the water temperature is going to be affected too much. So we'll see. All right. It's really windy right now. And it's starting to get really cold. But this is the part of the challenge. I'm going to do this whole thing in one shot. I'm not going to edit any, any of this part. I'm going to do the whole challenge in one clip with no editing. I'm going to walk up to the water here. I'm going to throw out one cast on each rod and see if I can catch anything. I'm going to go with... Uh, I don't know if I can figure out what's happening here. All right, I'm gonna stand on this little bump right here. Do I see any fish? It's already so dark. Can't really tell if I can see anything or not. Don't know if they're there. So here we go, first cast challenge. I should give myself a mulligan on that because that did not go as far as I wanted, but I had a bite. Whoa. Come on, it's still there. Take it, take it. I think it pulled my bait off. Wow, that was a bad cast. And, uh, but I did get a bite on the first cast. So I'm gonna try that again in a minute, but that's, first one has failed because of a bad cast, even though I did get a bite. Now this one should be more successful. Let's see what happens here. If I can get it untangled from itself. All right, that should work a little bit better. Come on. Come on, it's already, man. First one was good. I 
And just like that, I failed the first jazz challenge. Well, uh, I have failed the first cast challenge, but I've still got a little bit of time, and there's a bass chasing my jerkbait there. That looked like a pretty decent bass, actually. Let's see if I can get his attention again. Take it. There's a smaller one just swam up and bumped it but he didn't take it so there's one now I can see them there's there we go come on there's a handful of bass right there but they're they're interested but they're not going after it so I'm gonna switch up to the other one this is actually a brand new rod right here I have not caught a fish on it yet. I've used it a couple of times, but I've been getting skunked lately. That's why I wanted to come to this spot. Back in that direction. How do you get stuck in a tree when there's no trees here? Damn it. Really hope I can get this one back. It wrapped around, but I got it back. Let's see. Ooh. Oh, I lost the tail shoot but it's all right i am gonna wacky rig it see how see if that works can't even see my line anymore oh there we go oh come on just heard one splash right behind me of course right where that splash was and he's taking it got him first one on this rod let's see and he took lost the bait it's a nice little fat one nice looking fish here hooked There we go, that's a good looking fish. It's not very long. It's actually kind of skinny compared to the last ones here when I was here, but it's a good looking fish. Let me see if my camera's got enough battery power to take a picture. I think it might just have enough. There we go. Brand new rod, first fish. It's not bad. And course he took off the bait so can't use this one anymore lost the bait so I didn't bring any any backup baits any extra soft plastics because I wanted this challenge to be authentic and well I I authentically failed so just got a few minutes left of daylight as you can see Let's see if I can catch one before it gets too dark on the jerk bait Anyway, I guess before it gets too dark, I should plug the rod that I was using there. It was a brand new, very, very cheap. It cost me about 40 bucks on Amazon. It was an Abu Garcia Vengeance, seven foot medium. Oh, wait, I got a fish there. There we go. On the jerk bait. He's trying to shake it loose. There we go. He's hooked good now because he won't stop shaking around. Wow, he not even hooked in the mouth. I guess this would be a foul hook, huh? Probably swiped at it. Let me see here. Damn, I should have brought my pliers. Why did I not bring my pliers? Oh, damn, dude. Do not ever go anywhere without your pliers. Let's see, what do I got? There we go. 
I put the key ring over the lure and hooked the uh, treble hook and pulled it right out. So don't want to lose that. Those are my car keys too. So let me go ahead and get this guy released. All right. All right. Uh, I don't know if you can see what I did there, but the uh, the fish was hooked on top of the head by one of the trebles, and I couldn't grab it because the treble is too small for me to grab with my fingers. So what I did was I got the key ring from my car keys and slipped it over the bill and down the shaft of the, the treble. So it would have been upside down like that. And I just pulled it right out with the key ring. It's kind of a little trick you would do if you'd hooked yourself too. So there we go. And I think I'm, uh, before I was so rudely interrupted by catching a fish there, I was talking about my my new rod i would show it to you but it's a little bit dark now it's probably not going to come out too well on the camera but uh, i'm going to post a link for it down in the description uh it was very cheap for uh for what it is i mean it's abu garcia so of course it's all they're all kind of low-end stuff but i mean if you're looking for affordable fishing gear that's one of the best ways to go i'll also post links about the uh the baits that i was using all right, I am done. The drive was a lot longer than the, the fishing was, which is usually how it seems to go. But those were the first two fish I've caught in weeks. It's been a long time, probably for since early, early December. I haven't caught anything. So yeah, a couple of weeks. It's officially winter now. And uh, it's starting to feel like it, so that's going to be it for me today. Thanks for watching.